Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. African stories have a new avenue for expression following the October launch of the Skyring Studios, which replaces the old ice rink atop Carlton Center's parking lot in downtown Johannesburg. David Oliveira tells us more. The 2,400 square meter Skyring Studios, the brainchild of executive chairperson Frank Mohapi and executive directors Marvin Matibe and Miles Britton, was formed in response to lack of studio and production facility availability in Gauteng. In an exclusive interview with Engineering News, Mohapi explained that the studio's founders initially approached Transnet, which owns the Carlton Centre complex, to set up facilities in the 2,000-seat ballroom at the Carlton Hotel. Transnet subsequently offered the company the disused sky rink, a 4,000-seat ice rink arena. When we walked into the sky rink, we then realised that this place basically is ideal for building studios. At the beginning, we were looking at about two to three studios inside there. But after I researched to look at acoustically what will be the design, the architects are putting six studios. The six studios, which started construction on the sixth floor of the Carlton Sky Rink building in April this year, cover 2,424 square meters and will each have a dedicated control room, three dedicated high-definition cameras, a sound room and production quality LED lighting once the studio starts training in February next year. When looking at the equipment and we actually begin to look at other facilities around in the city to say, yes they exist but what will then make us unique? Because we're getting into a business with existing companies and so what you then have to, what will sell you. We looked in terms of one fundamental s simple things. You might think having facilities, uh, they struggle in terms of parking as well. It's key in terms of time and time of that. The distance between one studio and production offices. We then immediately said part of the list was to say where it used to be a gym, we're taking that as part of the production offices on the ground floor. And we'll then secure two floors of parking. The six studios are all located on the sixth floor of the Colton Sky Rink building, while a mezzanine floor above the studios will house the production facilities. Once completed, the Skyring Studios will have 10 post-production suites and green rooms, which Mohapi notes could be expanded to 20 facilities. Skyring Studios will also have animation and visual effects capabilities, makeup rooms and private and communal artist waiting rooms, as well as 300 dedicated parking bays. Skyring Studios will also have a central apparatus room, or CAR, on the mezzanine floor with broadcasting, channel hosting and player capabilities. Owing to the significant fiber infrastructure in the building, the CAR will also be capable of international live streaming. Natural gas supplier Novo Energy launched its compressed natural gas dispensing station in Kew. This project is the company's first commercial facility in Johannesburg. Anine Killian tells us more. The station will support the city of Johannesburg in its objective of enabling economic development, job creation and sustainability. Novo Energy CEO Andre Hugo said that one of the major challenges the country faces is job creation and feels that gas is fundamental in creating jobs and getting the economy going again. So as you know, um, the city of Johannesburg has embarked on a green economy program. Um, they've um, converted some of the bus fleets, the public transport fleets to operate on gas. So. Nova has been involved in converting some of those vehicles and supplying some of the equipment to them. So this um, facility will support their program on sustainability to actually supply some of the vehicle fleets. The Metro Police and some other of the Metro uh, fleets um, supply the gas. From a, obviously from a job creation, um, there's major energy constraints from an electricity point of view. So this facility will also support the supply of, of green and affordable energy into, into that system. Novo Energy has entered into an agreement with the Gauteng Department of Infrastructure Development, or GDID, to supply CNG to the Gauteng Department of Health. The GDID has identified natural gas as a cheaper, cleaner and more efficient energy source to achieve the desired results in the implementation of the province's green agenda. Hugo noted that the Novo Q CNG station would predominantly supply CNG to Gauteng's various health institutes using mobile delivery systems. This facility was specifically constructed to support the Gauteng Department of Infrastructure Development on the hospital program. They've decided to convert a fair amount of their hospitals from alternative fuels, um, diesel and, and, and coal to run on natural gas. So the facility was, this, was constructed to support and supply those hospitals um, from this location. Um, the hospitals will run 24-7 on, on compressed natural gas supplied from this facility 
a logistics system from, from here. He added that the city of Johannesburg is converting a fair amount of its hospitals to run on natural gas, and this facility will support and supply those hospitals. The dispensing station will also double as a gas refueling station for natural gas-fueled vehicles, or NGVs. It is strategically located in close proximity to Santon and the township of Alexandra. This is to encourage public transport operators, fleet owners, and private individuals to use CNG as an alternative source of fuel for their vehicles. The city of Johannesburg recently acquired NGVs for its municipal fleet, and there are hundreds of NGVs operating within the city. The Novo Q CNG station will provide the infrastructure to refuel these vehicles. CNG will retail at 7 Rand 99 per liter, and Novo Energy believes taxi operators, for example, will see an immediate savings of around 35% on their fuel spend by converting to natural gas. Hugo says that apart from the economic benefits that can be attained, most fleet owners are also seeing increased longevity of their vehicle assets by operating the vehicles with a much cleaner fuel compared to petrol. The station has been designed using compression equipment and includes the integration of modern process technology. Novo plans to roll out various CNG stations in strategic locations across the country in years to come. Hugo says that the facility provides clean and affordable energy to industry, and Novo is proud to be part of this collective and feels that there are tremendous opportunities going forward. The major benefits is there is some gas supply infrastructure constraints in South Africa. Um, so this facility enables us to move gas away from the natural gas pipelines into areas where there is no natural gas available, like these hospitals. Um, the other benefit, natural gas is a lot uh, more affordable and cheaper than, than the conventional um, liquid fuels. Um, and so there's, a, there's quite a big cost benefit to these hospitals. Obviously there's environmental benefits as well that will come out of, out of the supply. That's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.